Hey, I'm Juliet, and my partner and I are motorcycling through Pakistan on a super overloaded 150. We sure have seen a hell of a lot on our trip so far through the vast landscapes of Pakistan. We're enjoying every minute of it. Last week, we explored Hunza, and now it's time to say goodbye. So we're packing up, we're saying goodbye to the beautiful town of Hunza, which is just so bittersweet. It's been bittersweet on every leg of this trip. I never want to leave whatever place I'm at. I never felt like I had enough time. I want to just, I want to have that freedom to just stay as long as I want in every place. But that's the thing is every time we leave a place, I'm so happy that I got to explore the next place because it's even more beautiful and epic than I could have imagined. But it's just this, it's just this bittersweetness. I'm just so sad to leave every place. Next time I do a motorcycle trip, for sure, I'm gonna do it in the summer and we're gonna head out early. So that way we have all the time in the world to explore and see every place as much as I want. But for now, we're in a rush constantly, racing the cold, racing the winter season. So it's a sad goodbye to Hunza today. But on the up end, we're going to Pasu, which is supposed to be pretty cool. We're gonna see some amazing things on the way like Atabad Lake and Suspension Bridge. But this is our last leg of the trip. We go from Pasu to the China border and then that's it and it's on our way back which really makes me sad because I'm I wish we could just stay on the road forever this would be my dream but we have other obligations Mir has obligations that he has to get to I have obligations I have to get to and we'll just have to keep our hearts open for next time because there definitely will, will be a next time because I want to explore in depth all of the places that we've been to. I want to take my time. I want to relax. We've been on a rush this entire trip. Ay. So goodbye Hunza today. You are loved. We will miss you. <laughs> Last leg. So we hopped on the Karakoram Highway and our sweet baby motorcycle and strapped in for a short one hour drive to Atabad Lake. In the far north regions of Pakistan, you'll start to see a lot of Chinese influence, like the Karakoram Highway, which was built to connect Islamabad to China. And fun fact, is also one of the highest paved roads in the world. And there's also these tunnels, which are actually Pakistan-China friendship tunnels. There are six of them to be exact and takes about 20 minutes to get through. But once you're finally there, the light at the end of the tunnel is Atabad Lake. So after six friendship tunnels, we're finally at Atabad Lake. What a beautiful place to enjoy some fries, no? A fry break near the Atabad Lake. We learned a really sad story about this lake. So this lake is the result of a landslide. There was an earthquake here, a big earthquake, and the there was a crack in the ground and the villagers from that area were advised to leave. But because it was their home for many years, you know, generations and generations
So we're on our track down now to the suspension bridge. So the suspension bridge, Atabad Lake, and what is that, Samir? What? What is it? Pasukons. Pasukons. Samir's favorite thing. So Pasukons, Atabad Lake, and the suspension bridge are all pretty close together, like 10 minutes, I would say, uh, from each other, which is really nice. But there's a ton of people here, a ton of tourists. I think Hunza is probably the biggest uh, place I've seen like packed with tourists, like tour buses, like the whole shebang, where everywhere else that we've been in Pakistan so far is so nice because it's not built up in this touristy way. There's not tons of people. You'll be in the most wild, beautiful place imaginable, like just by yourself or, you know, you won't have like, it won't be littered with thousands of uh, hotels and restaurants and people trying to scam you for money. So that's something I've really loved about Pakistan, but definitely Hunza, this area, very touristy. There were the lakes at Skardu were also a little touristy, but you know, what can you do? We're still enjoying. We've made it to the famous suspension bridge, which we heard was actually closed down because last year someone died. Uh, trying to <laughs> trying to pass the bridge. Someone died trying to pass the bridge, but I guess it's open. There's a bunch of tourists on there right now. Should we take the risk? I don't know. YOLO though, right? Is that even appropriate to say if someone dies? No, I don't think so. That was very rude of me. Sorry. All right, Pete. This bridge is not for the faint of heart. We came back in the morning to try to cross the bridge empty, but we weren't alone because this is the local people's commute to work every day. Wow, you're so fast. Oh. I'm local this day. <laughs> Wait, I'm scared. I'm so Lake of Slav. <laughs> wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> No hands though. No hands. Oh my God, this lady's running. I'm scared to death. I'm, I'm like scared. I could barely get any good footage on this bridge just because I was terrified, clutching for my life at every second. Oh my God, they're just so far. I can't believe that lady, like, she, she's done with the bridge. She's gonna be up the mountain by the time we make it to the middle. You look like that lady. Yeah, with her little leg. Samir and our friends seem to have no problem. But for me, these wooden planks are way farther apart than they seem. I'm doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm scared. <sighs> I did it! <laughs> no hands. <laughs> the local people here totally schooled us. Man, they're, they're going so fast. And besides schooling us, the people here are incredibly friendly. Bam, bam, bam. No. The sheep don't want to be my friend. I have a sleep for them to eat with it. After these guys watched my failed sheep grapple, they invited us in for some chai. The people here speak a really high level of English and have some really cool shops, like this guy's here. What's this? This is three dimensional faces. One, two, three, and a friend. Four. Whoa. This looks so much like a bear. Yeah, this is a brown bear. <laughs> That's so cool. This is a fox. Whoa. This is so cool. This is dog. Let's see. Wow. Medicine. Yeah. Where do you find all this stuff? From the riverside, from the mountain. Wow, I want to buy one! 
you had the space. And with that, we headed out to our next location of Pasu.